Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Here we have four different graphs, P, Q, R, and S. Each graph represents a different type of motion, and your, our task is to match these graphs with the types of motion listed in the table. So let's break it down. Graph P is a distance time graph. Here, the line is a sloping upward in a straight line and this indicates to this the object is moving at a constant velocity because the distance increases steadily over time so we take moving at constant velocity for graph p for graph q shows a distance time graph and it's a straight horizontal line what does this tell us it means that the object is stationary. No distance is being covered over time. So let me say the distance is 5 meters. The value of the distance is always 5. Even the time increases. We tick stationary for graph Q. At rest, stationary, the gradient is 0. It's 0 velocity. No gradient, no slope here. The gradient is 0, slope is 0 and zero velocity. You are not moving, you are at rest stationary. Now, look at graph R. It's a velocity time graph with a straight line sloping upwards. This tells us that velocity is increasing at a constant rate, meaning the object is under constant acceleration. There is an increase in, in velocity over time math as well so you might say that dv delta v divided by delta t so the change in velocity over the change in time which it means that you are accelerating and the gradient of any graph has a straight line it must be a constant value so we take constant acceleration for graph r finally Graph S is also a velocity time graph, but notice how the line is curving upwards. This indicates that the velocity is increasing at increasing uh, rate, which means that the value of the acceleration is also the dv over dt. This one is increasing as well. So we take increasing acceleration for graph S. Here is how our table looks after matching each graph with the correct type of motion. We get four marks. Now let's move on to part B of the question. We need to state the feature of velocity time graph that can be used to determine the distance that traveled by an object. So let's go to velocity time graph. As you know that we, we know that the acceleration is the change in velocity over the time. So the gradient here, which is acceleration. So there is one thing uh, you can find out, which is the area under the graph. You can use it as well. Here for the area under the graph, let me say it is half times base times height, half times velocity times the time, then half times the unit of velocity, let me say meter per second, times the unit of time, it is second. Now, we need to cancel out the second here with a second. The finally, I get meter. So from the area under the graph, I can calculate the distance, how much I covered as an moving object. So back to the question, say the feature of velocity time graph that can be used to determine the distance it traveled by the object or by an object. So the correct answer is to calculate the area under the graph. If you found this breakdown helpful, do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more physics content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.